Well, hello everybody. E chip with contentment, and uh, this is uh, from an angle that you've probably never seen here before. <laughs> I'll show you around. I'm on top of the shipping container. There's the travel trailer, there's a chicken coop, there's Dumpy, there's the Dodge. Here's our future garden area. The Shouse, here's Buzz, our mobile solar generator, Dyna, the well and Wi Fi, solar Wi Fi station, and uh, we're all here. <laughs> the greenhouse and uh, some firewood back there in the background. Brought you up here because um, we're revisiting an old disaster and hoping that we can fix it well enough. To where it's not disastrous again uh, you can see that I've got this post right here and on top is a little support for the wind turbine you may remember that we purchased and installed a wind turbine boy about two years ago uh, not long after we got out here because we wanted to supplement you know buzz um, with a little bit of wind power we, we it's plenty windy here and so we thought we'd like to take advantage of that but even though we get about 333 days of sunshine here per year which is perfect for solar there are days, you know, sometimes two, three days in a row where we get solid clouds and uh, Buzz suffers a little bit. So we want to make sure that uh, we're doing right by Buzz by helping him along, preserving those batteries and uh, giving us extra power maybe when we need it at night, you know, if the breeze is blowing or something like that. And uh, so um, we got this wind turbine. Now the wind turbine worked great for about five days and then we had a major windstorm come up which literally lifted the whole turbine assembly off of the top of that post and uh, it sat there at an angle where it was unable to turn in or out of the wind it was unable to tilt out of the wind you know to save itself uh, stuff like that and it just spun for I think probably five hours straight. We thought for sure that it destroyed the windings inside the uh, wind turbine. But I pulled it apart last week, finally got around to pulling it apart, looked at it. Yeah, there was some uh, heat, evidence of heat damage to the stator. That's Those are the windings. But uh, I did a little bit of fixing up on it, what I could, put it on a meter, spun the fan and it's still producing electricity so i want to get it back up here and see if we can get something out of it because we spent a lot of money on that turbine and to only have five days use out of it before it destroyed itself uh was sad so i'm very disappointed with the manufacturer hydrogenappliances.com in case you want to know also known as what uh, thermo thermodynamics they go by several names which is already you know kind of sketchy when you got to keep changing your name uh, I followed the installation instructions to a T, did everything I was supposed to do, and it still destroyed itself. Anyway, we're going to put it back up. We're going to see if we can get any more juice out of it, and we'll take it from there. After I get it installed, I'm going to weld a little piece right on top of this post so that that thing cannot lift off of there anymore. Yeah, so I've moved the uh, hay bales out of the way because I'm going I'm to do welding and grinding. Uh, I don't want to start a fire. So, fire department is a million miles away. This place will burn to a crisp before anybody ever gets here. Well, I've got the uh, wind turbine up there on top of the container, I have to lift it on top of that pole. It's about, I'm told it's 60 pounds, but it weighs more like 75. <laughs> that means I have to climb on top of that little step stool, which I, and folks, I don't like it either. 
Uh, but at least I had help from Dinah to lift that up there. I didn't have to carry it up the ladder. Next thing to do before I go any further though, is to make sure I weld that piece up at the top so that it doesn't blow off again. This is a slip ring and uh, I contacted Missouri Wind and Solar. They sell these, although they sell them for their PMGs, not their PMAs, permanent magnet generator, not permanent magnet alternator. I only need two wires going into this thing and two wires going down the mast. And my wires are eight gauge. These I think are 12 gauge wires. But as you can see, I put three of them together. They're all the same length so that there won't be any you know, problem with carrying current evenly. And the idea here is that I can you know, hook my eight gauge wire to this. The wire in the mast can remain stationary while the turbine turns uh, without twisting any wires. So we'll try this, see how it works. We got to get it installed. All right, turbine. It's been a lot of time and effort trying to get you back up to snuff. So do your thing. Reba, are you hungry? Is it time for, oh, there it goes. Let's see, we get. What is that? Zooming now. This turbine is designed to tilt up out of the wind. The camera's fooling you. The blades are turning very fast. It's just the recording rate on the camera that makes it look like it's going slow. 